The French language, spoken in Europe, Africa, North America, Oceania, Asia, and the Middle East, it's one of the most studied languages worldwide. Not just the language of love, but also the language of scientific standards and literature. And of course, the language of haute cuisine and fashion. If you're interested in the French language, you're in for a treat. As in this video, I'll be sharing with you 15 interesting facts about Le Français. And I'm confident you don't know the last fact I'll mention towards the end of the video. On y va? Let's go! Numéro 1. Only half of the population of France could speak French during the French Revolution. Let's start with a mini history lesson. French became the official language in France in 1539. That's more than two centuries before the French Revolution in 1789. So how come only half of the French population could speak French? Well, I like the way Henri Grégoire, a French Revolution leader, explained it. Or complained about it, really. France has not progressed beyond the Tower of Babel as far as languages are concerned. <laughs> and he was totally right, since the population was still speaking mostly Latin, and there was a potpourri of languages or dialects, such as Alsatian, Corsican, Basque, Breton, etc. The French language? Hmm. That was reserved for the elite circle, la bourgeoisie. Prior to the French Revolution, the French kings were too busy doing other things and had no time to worry about what languages were spoken by the subjects and the lack of ability of the French population to understand the French language in which were all the political debates and all of the administrative documents was then seen as anti-democratic. Therefore, from the French Revolution, two laws emerged stating that the only language tolerated in public life and schools would be French. Mission accomplished. A few years after the French Revolution, the French language had become the symbol of unity of the French state. Liberté, égalité, fraternité. Numéro 2. French was once the official language of England. Have you ever noticed some English words are totally French? I just mentioned earlier, potpourri. How about RSVP, répondez s'il vous plaît. Crème brûlée. Au pair, camouflage. Some of these words are so entrenched in the English language that you don't even notice their French origin. It's estimated that 30% of English words come from French. The reason for this is the fact that French was the official language in England. Numéro 3. Irony punctuation mark disappeared. We are all familiar with the exclamation and question mark, but had you ever heard about something called Irony mark? I hadn't. Apparently, it was a sort of question mark turned around which would indicate that irony was being used. It quickly disappeared as people got used to understanding irony. Numéro 4. French is the language of ballet. Wherever ballet is studied around the world, the name of the steps are in French. Pointe, tendu, pirouette, tour en l'air. Numéro 5. The longest palindrome. Ressasser meaning to keep rehearsing, is the longest palindrome in the French language. In case you don't know what a palindrome is, it's a word that is read the same forward and backward. Ressasser, ressasser. Numéro 6. Cool French anagrams. Contrary to palindromes, anagrams require shuffling the letters to transform them into another word. Some cool anagrams with the French words are endolori and indolore. They are antonyms. An anagram of guérison is soigneur. An anagram of the word chien is niche. Zone, vu, ne. Oh, I'm just trying to figure out some anagram from this word. Abonnez-vous. It means subscribe. Just to remind you to do so. All you have to do is hit the red subscribe button and please. Give us a thumbs up if you're finding this video interesting. Also, hit the bell button to receive notifications. Then you won't miss out on any of our new videos about languages. Numéro 7. French words of Arabic origin. In a similar video we published about 15 interesting facts about the Spanish language, I explained how the Arabic language influenced the Spanish language. It turns out Arabic also influenced the French language, as French owns around 400 words of Arabic origin. A few examples. Coton, from the word coton. 
sucre from the word zuka. Satin from the word zaitin. And azar from the word azar, which meant game of dice. Do you know any others? Share them with us below. Numéro 8, you you and uwa uwa -ou. And if you're familiar with the Arabic culture, you'll know that you you means this. In English, it's called yululation. In French, you you together with the word uwa uwa are the only two French words that have six vowels in a row. Wow. Numéro 9. Several states in the US speak French or French dialect. You'll find francophones in Louisiana, Vermont, Michigan, Maine, North Dakota, Missouri, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, and Connecticut. And it's also interesting to know that there are some states where people natively speak a French dialect. Métis French, Muscrat French, Missouri French, New England French, and Louisiana French. Numéro 10. Ouh. This word is the only one in French that uses the letter U with an accent. It means where, and it's quite common. Numéro 11. Number 70, 80, 90. French learners always complain about these numbers. The reason? You need to make some kind of math operation to figure them out. 70 is 70. 60, 10. So 60 plus 10. 80 is 80. Now you have to use the multiplication because 4 means 4 and 20 means 20. So 4 times 20, 80. 90, 90. 4, 20, 10. But good news. In Belgium, some parts of Canada and in Switzerland, they say 70, 80, 90. A little easier? Numéro 12. The longest word in French. I had to include this one on the list. So for a long time, the longest word in the French language was anticonstitutionnellement, 25 letters. But this word lost its title because of that word. Hippo... I won't even try to pronounce it. Ironically, it means the fear of long words. Numéro 13. saint rémy en bouzemont saint genès de hisson and... I've just mentioned the longest word in French, but how about the longest name for a French town? saint rémy en bouzemont saint genès de hisson is situated in the northeast of France. And not so far from there, you can find a countryside town with the shortest name in the whole French territory. I. Pronounced I, and not Y. What do you call the French people who live in I? Ypsilonia and Ypsilonienne. Numéro 14. Ooh la la is a total cliché. Total cliché. So is this. This expression in decline is probably more used by English learners trying to speak French or trying to sound French than by French people. Also, in English, it's expressed as if with amusement. Ooh la la. Or sensuality. Ooh la la. <laughs> but in French, in real life, it's not used that way. Oh la la can be used with a negative connotation to express disgust, disapproval, stress, or even anger. Oh la la, mais non! But in revenge, it can also be used to express a happy and surprised feeling. Like when a friend surprises you with a gift. Oh la la, merci! And let's mention a bonus fact, of which some of you should be aware. According to the Organisation Internationale de la Francophonie, by the year 2050, the French language could become the most widely spoken language of the world. Now it's in position number five, but thanks to the demographic growth of the African continent, there will be many more French speakers in 2050. Even if some people disagree about this projection, for sure, French should be among the three most spoken languages around the world in the next decades. Et c'est tout pour aujourd'hui. That's it for today. How many of these 15 facts did you already know? Let me know in the comment box below. Au revoir! If you learned something new from this video, give it a thumbs up. Then, hit subscribe and turn on your notifications. Have a look around our channel for more hacks and tips. And if you're watching on another social media platform, like or follow our page. See you next time!